My name is Michael Trumper, and I'm the co-author of the book, Project Decisions, The Art and Science. Today we will learn about heuristics and biases in project management. When you see a lottery winner holding up a poster-sized multi-million dollar check, you might assume that you have a reasonable chance of winning. You might believe this because you received a vivid image or information related to a rare and desirable event, winning the lottery. This is an example of the availability heuristic. According to the availability heuristic, people judge the probability of the occurrence of events by how easily these events are brought to mind. Based on what we know about the availability heuristic, if the government really wanted to reduce gambling, it should erect huge billboards listing personal bankruptcies and showing broken families in front of casinos. As with gamblers, the availability heuristic affects how project managers evaluate events, products, supplies, and even people. In Star Trek show, the rationality of the Vulcans was used to highlight human limitations in this area. Compared to the fictional Vulcans, humans have a limited mental capacity to capture and process all of the world's complexity. Instead, people construct a simplified model of reality and then use this model to come up with judgments. This is called bounded rationality. People use heuristics or general rules to make judgments. In other words, people make mental shortcuts to make decisions. In many cases, the simplified model provides a correct answer, and because of this, as a species, we have achieved tremendous success. Unfortunately, because of the way it simplifies situations in complex situations, the model can be often be incorrect. This leads to mental mistakes or biases. Availability was one such bias. Here are a few other biases common in project management. In a recent visit to a store, you see that an item you want is on sale. For example, the pants you want are priced down from $3.99 to $2.99 with a sale label attached to it. What a great bargain, you think. However, from the store's point of view, the original price of $3.99 served as a reference point or anchor, a price they know from their own research is probably not realistic. But they also know that you will fixate only on a single piece of information, the price of $3.99. With this figure in mind, the price of $2.99 looks like a great value. What you don't do is stop to consider is whether the sale price of $2.99 is a good value for your money. In reality, the store probably paid $10 for the pants and will still make a massive profit off your purchase. This is called the anchoring heuristic and describes how we always use a reference point when we try to quantify something. In project management, anchoring becomes a factor when we try to estimate things such as cost or duration of the project. Here is a nice looking car. What brand is it? Where is it produced? Is it a Mazda, Toyota, or Kia? In fact, it is a Proton, designed in Malaysia and assembled in Bangladesh. Here's the point. You probably don't associate very nice looking and well-built cars with Malaysian design or Bangladeshi production. People make judgments about probabilities and risks based on category. This object, person, or process represents. This heuristic is called representativeness and leads to stereotypes and wrong decisions. In project management, it limits our ability to process new information, including evaluating new ideas and identifying risks. This is the Apollo Lunar Landing Module as photographed on the Moon. Do you notice anything wrong? If you don't believe that the Apollo missions actually landed on the Moon, you might notice that there is no crater beneath the engine's nozzle. This image was used by lunar landing skeptics to confirm their belief that this photograph was shot in Hollywood and people never landed on the moon. If people have preconceived ideas about something, they tend to find evidence to confirm this idea and reject evidence against this idea. This is called the confirmation bias. 
Here are a few more biases. Ignoring base rate frequencies. People assess the probability of something occurring without taking sufficient account of the base rate or prior probability of the evidence. Illusion of control. People often believe that they are in control of a situation, although in reality they are not. Omission bias. People have a tendency to judge harmful actions as worse than equally harmful omissions. What would be better, to observe a potential problem in a project and do nothing, or actually be the cause of the problem? In both cases, the result will be the same. The project will be behind schedule. Optimism bias or planning fallacy. People tend to be over-optimistic about the outcome of planned actions. Finally, overconfidence. People tend to overestimate the accuracy of their predictions. If you need more information, please read our book, Project Decisions, The Art and Science.